Hello, uh, in this mind map, we're going to do just a very quick overview of the pathogenesis of neoplastic transformation. So you recall from the definition that um, neoplasia is actually a sequence or a series of genetic events. So it is uh, based on genetic aberrations or abnormalities. And some examples would include rearrangements, translocations, uh, deletions, point mutations, etc. So what do these genetic aberrations actually then result in? Well, as you know, genes are very important uh, to code proteins, which are then extremely important in cell growth and proliferation. And three very important central key pathways include those genes and proteins involving growth, apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, and DNA repair. What are some of the inciting causes of genetic aberrations? Well, these include chemicals, um, for example, chemical carcinogens seen in tobacco and cigarette smoke. Um, also, biological agents, certain viruses can also give rise to malignant transformation. An example of such a virus would be the Epstein-Barr virus, which has been associated with several types of malignancies. Radiation can also give rise to genetic aberrations as well as just a simple aging because of accumulation of genetic abnormalities and mutations, as well as sometimes these uh, aberrations or abnormalities are actually inherited. So there are certain tumor syndromes which can be carried from one generation to another, and you can read about this in uh, the chapter text as well as your textbooks. So I just want to finally uh, mention two main types of genes which are responsible for these three very important key pathways. And the first main type of genes would fall into the tumor suppressor genes group. And the second one would be proto-oncogenes. So important examples of tumor suppressor genes would include P53 and the RB gene. And you can read about P53, how the protein serves as an important checkpoint in the cell cycle. Now for proto-oncogenes, the there are some important ones to take note of, and examples would be KRAS and MYC, and mutations or aberrations in KRAS and MYC are seen in a large variety of tumours, uh, both benign tumours as well as malignant tumours, and again, you can read up about these in your textbooks. So this is just a very brief overview to highlight the fact that Neoplasia, the process starts at the genetic level with an, usually an accumulation of different types of genetic aberrations, which hits these three important key pathways. And often the genes involved fall into two categories, tumor suppressor genes as well as proto-oncogenes. And these genetic aberrations can be brought on by a variety of different types of inciting events or causes.